Theater of Note, I first heard about it. I heard about it through a friend of mine who I'd went to grad school with, Jenny Sue, I love her. Um, and she was a member. And I remember I came to see her in a production of Hot Cat, which was an adaptation of um, Hot on a Cat, wait, which was an adaptation of Cat on a Hot Tin Roof uh, by Tennessee Williams. And uh, I, I was just so struck by it. It was everything that I loved. It was intimate theater, it was a black box, it was movement, it was kind of weird and off the wall, but just so engaging. And I remember seeing that production and just being like, whoa, like this is amazing. Um, so that was like my first inkling of note. And I, I just wanted to stick around. I wanted to find a way to somehow be involved like in productions moving forward because I, I was already a theater junkie. And I, I think I was upset that I hadn't known about this theater. So um, that was my first introduction. And I think, uh, what, like a year, a year later or a year and a half later, I was invited to audition um, for their show For the Love Of. And that was my first production with them. And I, I love the fact that it was um, an ensemble company, like everyone in the company, it was democratically run you have complete ownership of what you do, like you are calling the shots. And I just thought it was a really exciting way to work. I thought it was a way that you can get your your voice and your thoughts and your opinions like out and you can see it go into effect. So um, yeah, I love Theater of Note. I've been with them since 2018 and they, they're just phenomenal, phenomenal people and phenomenal artists. Yeah, no, uh, piggybacking off of that, I I was craving theater. I'd been in LA since uh, end of 2015 and it was missing in my heart and my soul. And I hadn't found a community that I felt necessarily uh, drawn to. And uh, then my good friend, Liesl Hansen, who's a member was like, oh, you, you would love theater if not, come on in, come see a show. Um, and then uh, I got quickly afterwards, I auditioned um, in 2018 and got in. And uh, I remember at, at my sort of pre-audition, they asked me, they're like, what are you looking for in a company? And uh, my answer was obviously not what I'm going to say because I can't remember, but it was something along the lines of, um, I miss a community of uh artists and creatives that give you the freedom to be who you want to be and um, put that foot forward in order to make that happen, whether you want to write or do production or set design or, uh, you know, take a gander at, you know, writing for the first time or painting a set. I mean, they really were just, they wanted to foster your creativity and, I was like, cool, all right, I'm game, let's do it. And it's been really phenomenal ever since. Not to mention, everyone is really talented. And I don't just say that. It's really, it's a crock pot of a good amount of, yeah, overwhelming talent at times. So, um, no, I just feel blessed to be a part of it. Um, why are is Theater of Note so important? Um, this is a community that has worked for decades to amplify voices that don't have the reach to necessarily uh, get a platform to, you know, show their work to. Um, and Theater of Note is, we are a democratic uh, run theater company that wants the world to know that we're here, we're not going anywhere. This pandemic has been as difficult on us as it has been on countless theater companies. Uh, and um, yeah, we, we're here to stay, we're, we're fighters and we're gonna do anything in our power to make sure that we continue to let um, voices who don't have the chance to necessarily be heard, be heard. So um, I just wanna 
this ugh, this company is filled with so much light. You, you know, I I feel so blessed to be a part of it, and I know I know Faith does too. I, I don't. I don't know, you might be able to have a more eloquent uh, sort of sentiment than I do, Faith, but no, I feel like this is integral. We, we need our arts. So we need to make sure that our arts are getting the uh, funds and the appreciation that they should be given right now. Definitely. Um, I would say uh, I, I so agree with Mara in terms of uh, why theater of note is important and why we need the arts. Like theater of note has always been a scrappy theater. It's always been theater by any means necessary. If we don't have the funding, if we don't have the people, if we don't have the time, we're going to get it done and we get it done um, well with quality. Um, we've never been afraid to take risk or to, um, you know, push the boundaries a little bit. And I think it, it speaks to the art that we make. Um, and I think definitely in times of, uh, you know, uncertainty and, um, and hardship, like art is where we come back to. It's where we go to fill our well. So I think it's so important to, to recognize artists because, you know, they are the soul of our, of our society, of our communities. Um, it's how we, we reach each other. It's how we communicate. Um, we, we're always going to need to express ourselves. And that goes doubly so when, when times are hard. So uh, the arts are so vital. Um, and, you know, we, we're we wishing the best for all the theaters and we just want them to keep doing what they do because these voices are needed. <laughs> 